It's like a, a baby. It's, it's a, it's a baby strut. <laughs> 2000 Ford Contour. You have seen this under the knife more than once. Uh, what's pretty wild is one of our videos, we have a couple of videos that get constant, constant views. Um, those things that are hard to do that we could not find videos on YouTube for. One was rear brakes. So we get hits on that. Every day we get hits on rear brakes because essentially O oh, or 95 to 2000 the same for sure 98 or 98 and a half there's a mid-gear switch i think uh are the same on these mighty ford mondeos oh pardon me contours mondeo in europe uh today we have uh a rear hub that's making noise and now the radio doesn't get loud enough so more speakers maybe but we did, we replaced front speakers on this guy. So she sounds good. Uh, we got hubs. Um, never done rear hubs on this yet. So we'll see how that goes, 127,000 miles. You know, the rear suspension might be a little. And the rear suspension isn't quite where it should be. So we got struts, uh, strut assemblies. We have learned lessons on working on our struts through the years. And we're not gonna play anymore taking apart strut games. We just got the whole, the whole thing. So, um, kind of a unique setup on rear suspension on these, how the, the strut uh, plugs into uh, on the knuckle. And so we'll take you along for our ride. Ooh, there's our strut. Thank you, thank you Rock Auto. Here we go. Pardon the fan noise, we're gonna try to keep it cool in here. So, we got it up. Lots of condensation coming out of the muffler there. Just to start it, let it run a little bit, get it to the shop, so it hasn't had a chance to cool off or evaporate out. Um, we put the stands on the very rear of the subframes, or the rear of the unibody here. Kind of where the bumper bolts on. And we gotta be able to get Suspension travel to do the strut stuff. These are pretty good. Most of this car is pretty solid. Uh, there is some Minnesota is rust along the rockers and whatnot, but overall pretty solid still. For a 2000 from Minnesota, very unusual. So we're gonna pull the wheels off oh. and go from there. She was on, she didn't lowest that. So we're let some things soak a little bit. We gotta do the sway bar. Here's the knuckle that holds the strut in. Um, essentially disconnect the brake, disconnect the ABS, and then way up there are the top strut bolts. So there's a pinch bolt there, and then it bolts up on top, kind of like a regular shock. So we got this side off, letting it soak. Over here on the Passenger, we're doing the same. A little PB action, almost as good as the. Uh, is this Walmart? <laughs> almost as good as the. <laughs> don't trip. As the Sutton King, Rural King. What is Har that? Harvest King. Harvest King. You just, you get Harvest Uber King, heavy duty penetrating lubricant. Yeah, that one's extreme duty, apparently. Uh, uh, I wonder who broke the top off of it. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't this guy this time, I don't think. Just so let me know when you hit it. I hit it. Okay. Sway bar. 14 mil on the nut side. 13 on the bolt side. Uh, 15 on the nut side, 14 on the bolt side. That's what I said. So we'll get that off each side. And then that'll give us plenty of down movement. Uh, right now we're debating if we're gonna do the, <laughs> if we're gonna compress the spring or just put a jack underneath it. Um, we'll think about that in a second. 
Uh, we got the right spring compressor to do it, so we'll debate. We could just put a jack under here too, put, put pressure on it, and then slowly lower it down. We just don't want to shoot the spring in the teeth or around the shaft. But inside the strut, probably won't jump around too much, so we will see. So the bolt ended up being the it's a 13 on the bolt side and a 15 on the nut side. Sway bar in length bolt. Okay, now we're gonna figure out what size the knuckle bolt is. The pinch nut. Yeah. Okay. that holds the brake line in place. So we should be able to wiggle that out of there without messing with this too much. We did have all of those out already when we it's moving now. So that should be okay right there. It's a little, not too much pressure. We're just gonna move it on the other side of that strut. So we'll leave that there. Okay, we got the straight bar in link taken care of. Got the ABS line taken care of. We got the pinch bolt down here loose. I think I'm gonna send the star of the show uh, here with an extension up there to get those loose so I'll keep working on this a little bit and we're getting there. Don't we want to first get the knuckle well we'll get we, we, we don't we don't want to loosen the top ones yet because we don't want the whole thing to shoot out. Well we want to make sure they come loose. Yeah. Yep so this I got two, two turns on it so we'll keep working on that a little bit. At least it's turning them. A lot of these fasteners you want to do them by hand until they get pretty loose. Work them back and forth if they're stuck. Uh, go in there with a little torch if you have to. Um, this is all been kind of rusty but not super bad. So I, we weren't really nervous about these not coming out. Um, but to get something that's rusty rusty, it won't come out without a torch. And you're looking at probably a new bolt for sure. But I think these fasteners, uh, we should be able to buff them up. And that should come out pretty good. So um, this is a kind of a lock nut on there. So that will use fine. Buff that up. Those should be good. Okay. Um, that's only, is that three-eighths or is that a half? Three-eighths. Okay, you want to get me a half ratchet? Then we'll get that out the rest of the way.
We have the top, uh, our both top strap bolts out. They're just loose. Yep. Okay. So now we need to figure out a way to get the knuckle out of the strut. So, is that bolt loose now? Did you loosen it up again? I took it almost completely out. Okay. So. I get it out. We're good. So now, let's get in there with uh, some hammer action. And let's see what it'll do. We can leave it right there. It doesn't need to come out. So, let's start. Give her some taps and see if it moves. Okay. It looks, like it, it, it looks like it might have gone down a tiny bit. It looks like it's starting to move. It's so a lot we, of dirt falling. Is that bolt holding in? Okay, so we will go through and go for there. So hit it a little bit, spray it a little bit, hit it a little bit, spray it a little bit. So essentially we gotta get it released from the knuckle and then we're gonna get the strut jack up. So over here we have one of the new struts. So we can see where it bolts in the top. And then for the knuckle it just sits in that bottom so we got to do that and then it kind of sits on a ledge right here on the unibody that's where it bottoms out that's where it kind of holds it from moving down any further and uh i grabbed a less long handle oh yeah a little bit shorter handle ball we'll give her a little more juice and we'll go from there This can't shoot out, right? It shouldn't. If that's where that little ledge is there. Yeah, because it's still gonna, it's still bolted on the top and still sprung against the bottom ledge. But we could put a ratchet strap around it and go over to the other side just to be sure. Maybe we'll do that. Spray it again. That one's great. You saw how much it moved that time? Yeah. Probably moved a quarter inch. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're definitely dented it up a little bit, but. That's okay. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay. So now we're it's moving pretty free. So right now the strut kit, we assume, isn't going to jump out at us. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. We loosen this up. Loosen the brake drum up. That's good. Um, I would say give her a couple more wax and let's take her down. Okay, it's getting serious. We're getting serious. <laughs> okay, so let's you lift it up again so there's no pressure on the brake line. Uh, I can't. That's, that's, I can't really move it that much. How much pressure is on that brake line? Oh, a little bit. That's, it's under tension, but it's not under pressure. Okay, so let's get a couple pieces of wood to put on the bottom of that and lift her up. So we'll come right back. A year ago, we bought a little bit fancier um, spring compressor to work on the Malibu. And what I like about it is it's two separate pieces. So up here, what we have is we're gonna shine that one light <coughs> straight up so we can kind of see up there. Mm -hmm. So we're compressing um, as many coals as we can reach. We have it right now about um, an inch and a half from 
making it lighter. Mm -hmm. About an inch and a half from where our gap is. And we got our four by four chunk of cedar on our Harbor Freight racing jack. So we get this jacked up here, you know, get this, this tight. This is a real race car. Race car. You know, Rubbin's racing. Rubbin's racing. Get this jacked up here, release the tension on it, and it should come right out. Uh, there's nothing holding it in the bottom, nothing holding it in the top. And Other than the spring tension. Spring tension. So. It, it's, it's, okay, it's that's tight. Time. That's tight. Okay, I'll grab that. And we'll slowly step back and see what happens. It might, uh, it might work better to move this one back All right, there you go. Okay. So, so we are still we went touching here because the backside. So we need to get more tension or we need to tighten the springs down a little bit more. And so we'll jack that back up, tighten this a little bit more, and uh, we'll come right back. My hands are dirty. Okay. So, shiny forehead. One thing that we found with these, this is a, is this a Lyle? I think it's a Lyle. One thing we Wait. found. It is a, I think that's Lyle. Okay. Could be Lyle. Is that Lyle? Yes, that's. Okay. Yes, that's. Leslie um, one thing we found with these is that normally they'd want you to put the spring like this, right? Connect it to the spring that way. What we did is we realized this hole is really handy and you could hold it this way to get more low profile. Because see how far away you are from here and here you're only that far away. So let me put this back on so we don't lose our uh, specialty pieces. So what we found, if you look up here, is that that's how we put it on, and we weren't quite, uh, didn't have enough compression. So now, we've got all this right here, you can kind of see, these threads right there, that we're going to take up um, by crescent wrenching this guy up, unless anybody has a deep socket, maybe snap on, makes a 5 inch deep socket. Probably not. And somebody, this, somebody does something. This should take up the tension. You know, if it, 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 if it was a through through type ratchet, hey, and then we would be okay. Um, because right here, this is what we got to play with. So the goal is when we let this jack down, this needs to be off of that, um, and then it'll come out, and then we're good. So I'm gonna crank until this is taken up. Then we should be good. And then we found a relatively foolproof way to do this. I know there are some other videos out there of people working on similar struts and they just like pry on it and then hope and pray it doesn't go into the teeth. Um, we both have had braces so we want to keep the teeth in one piece if we can. And See, as we compress that, she's coming down. Look at that. That was slightly scary. Yep, we got some movement. Okay, that's essentially bottomed out. <coughs> we will let the strut down the rest of the way. Try not to die. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so did it hit the thing again? Yep. It's because the inside coil, the coils on the inside are still fine. We're we're just gonna pry it off of that now. Though. I think we'll be able to pry it off because it's just it's loose in there, loose-ish in there. We should be able to get it. So, okay, we'll be right back. Go go go. We have it relatively free from there. We got it on this side. So let's give her a wiggle. Oh, it's like a, a baby. 
It's, it's a, it's a baby strut. So precious. Oh. So, the reason we're replacing these, see how the spring gets all kind of crazy, but it's junk, so we're good. The strut on the other side is blown out completely. This is halfway, so we're doing both. Okay, there we go. It's lunchtime. Might be. In some parts of the world. Like here. Get all this room for activities. There's a little... We can buff that, shoot some paint on it. Glue that guy in place. That's too nice for this thing. Okay, there we go.